Welcome to an Easter special of a candy review. As we all know, Easter is probably the second largest candy holiday. It goes Halloween, Easter, Christmas, 4th of July. Valentine's Day is actually probably third. Doesn't matter. We're on number two. And so that means we have some really fun and exciting candies for out. Right here, I have a rainbow. Rainbow's the brand. Rainbow mega chocolate egg. Now, Rainbow's actually a confectionery company based here in New Zealand. One day I was hitchhiking down Highway 1 headed towards Dunedin, and I saw it on my left side, and I thought, oh my god. That's all there is to that story. Today I'm going to be trying this egg. I've tried the smaller ones in the four packs before, but I've never had the individually wrapped mega egg. Now, something that's exciting about these that they advertise on the the four packs is that they have a yolk inside, and we're gonna explore that yolk together today. Um, so I'm just gonna, as you can see, just a lot of marshmallow. I've realized marshmallow here in New Zealand is pretty different than marshmallow back in the States. A little bit different of a taste, hard to really put your finger on. Um, it feels, I hate to say this, a bit more natural. It doesn't feel as chemically. Um, the bite to it, it squeezes, it squeezes a bit more. So when you bite it, when you think about biting, you know, just a jet puffed marshmallow, your teeth really slide just right through it and it has a pretty clear cut. Whereas this, this you can already tell it's getting a bit gooier right off the bat. Now, the first time I had one of these, I was pretty disappointed. The second time I'm having one, the disappointment continues because I'm gonna break it open for you. There's your yolk, folks. That's the yolk. That little yellow. That's supposed to sustain the life of the chocolate bunny that's supposed to be born from this. So the yolk is gimmicky. It worked on me the first time I thought. What is this yolk? Is it going to be some some special candy inside? Um, you know, the Kinder Eggs are legal here, so I think perhaps it was a Kinder Egg kind of deal. We we're going to get a toy. I was going to get something hard to chew on, maybe some plastic I could eat. But it's not even flavored. It's just food dye. It's just a minutia, a teeny bit of yellow food dye, which broke my heart. It just broke my heart. There's so much potential with the chocolate egg. I feel like we've seen exciting stuff done as far as filling them with flavored marshmallows, with caramel. Sometimes you see some sort of strawberry mixture in there. Um, at around Christmas time, you get a lot of peppermints and spearmint marshmallows in there. And I think the yolk has huge upside potential. If I was Rainbow, which I'm not, I would try to emphasize the yolk. I would try to emphasize the organic accuracy of my eggs by providing the yolk. Um, I think you could do an entire line of gestation. You could do the egg with the yolk. You could do it slowly becoming a bunny inside an egg. People would love that. Um, and I just, this isn't special unfortunately. It's a good egg. Don't get me wrong. If someone said, do you want a chocolate marshmallow egg? I might even say, get me a rainbow chocolate egg. But the yolk, the yolk is just, I cannot stop fixating on how much the yolk is not much at all. So I would recommend the egg just because the marshmallow here is better. The chocolate, it holds its own. It's good chocolate. It's the kind of chocolate that you're going to get in and of you know, a mass-produced chocolate egg around Easter time. So there's really no concern about that. Also, I would say don't get the Mega. The Mega's a nice one-off, but the four-pack allows you to bite, put down, bite, put down. Um, one thing that I do notice that's a bit different is you can't really tell now because I really annihilated it. They make theirs in two halves. There's a bit of chocolate in the middle there. Do you see that chocolate line? I think that's very interesting. It makes me think about production, about their molds, that they're probably not actually filling chocolate or dipping 
egg as much as they are is having a lump of marshmallow coating it and then just sticking the two together. And what that resulted is sometimes an uneven egg, which for me just pulls me right out of, you know, the reality that I'm trying to live in, which is this is a real egg that is gonna birth a, a Easter rabbit. Um, and just makes me think it's a candy that a human made. Um, so that would be something I would definitely recommend for Rainbow, is one, find a way to either mash the eggs, because I do like the chocolate in the middle. The chocolate line in the middle adds something. More chocolate, it's tough to go wrong with, except for on a s'more. We'll talk about that later someday. More chocolate is good, but even them out. And then two, make that yolk exciting. No one else has thought of the yolk in the chocolate egg before. They can corner the market on this. They can make it their own. They can make it special. Happy Easter. Eat some candy. Brush your teeth. And uh, we'll see you next time.